You might not be able to say this about many people in the future, but you can certainly say this about Mel Carmazin. He is a guy who built his career in radio. As the CEO of Sirius XM, Carmazin owns the entire satellite radio market and says its model is paying off, even with Internet rivals like Pandora and maybe even Google one day nipping at its heels. In an exclusive interview, Carmazin tells me why it's better to make money on subscribers than advertisers. Our business is principally a subscription business. Right. Uh, Ninety-eight percent of our revenue will do about $2.8 billion in revenue uh, this year. Uh, of that $2.8 billion, about 98 percent will come from subscriptions. You know, we certainly uh, would continue to expect to continue to grow our advertising revenue. Our advertising revenue is growing double digits mm -hmm. this year. So we're, you know, uh, benefiting from the rebound that has taken place in the advertising. But business. you don't want to depend on advertising, ever? Uh, uh, we really don't like that model as well as okay. the subscription model. Okay. Um, and Google had a part to do with it, right? Well, Google is you know, a big part of the advertising business for search, you know. But at, at this point, you know, we find ourselves with very little, you know, competition from them today. When you look at a Google for your business, what do you think about five years from now? Well, I mean, at this point, we've seen that some very smart people have come up with some technology and, you know, managed to beat a lot of the incumbent companies that were out there. I mean, you would have thought that the people who did the telephone books, you know, would have been the ones that would have invented search, you know, on the Internet. And that's just not the way it is. And I think that when you see how a company can go from nowhere to where it's such a major, major company today, makes you always stay on your toes and makes you always focus on who's the company that is out to get your business, you know? Well, and, I mean, but do you think of like a Google radio, for instance? Yeah, I, I, I think that the idea of IP delivered radio, you know, internet delivered radio internet uh, protocol is, delivered. is out there. I think that there are, uh, you know, a, an assortment of companies that are there today. You know, there's uh, Pandora, there's Slacker, there's Last FM, there's Rhapsody, there's Google, you know, there's iTunes. I mean, there's a whole lot of companies out there. And I think what distinguishes us is the fact that we're on our own network you know just like you're on the AM band and you're on the FM band well you're on you know the satellite band and and we're the only ones that are able to deliver satellite radio to you and then if you want to get your audio content on the internet you have hundreds and thousands and maybe hundreds of thousands of different companies that will be able you know to do that for you so it's a great time to be a consumer I can see why consumers love it you right, know but it's very diversity yeah. you know they have more choice than they've ever had before but it's going to be very difficult to differentiate you know, one internet company from the other, and brands do matter, and Google does have a great brand. Well, well it, it has a great brand, and in relation to your brand and your company, a lot of people look at Pandora, for instance, and they say that's a rising competitor. When you look at Pandora, do you think a rival or someone who, who could actually support your business? Yeah, I, I think the way I look at Pandora, and it's a very good company for, as I know it, um, but I think of it more as them being in the music business. In other words, I think that when people used to listen to radio, they always had a way of getting music music, you know, and whether or not you got music by buying a CD or whether or not you got music by listening to a cassette player in your car, you know, I think that Pandora is, you know, a principally a music company, you know, and I think that they are more competitive with people who are selling music than people who are in the radio business.